they're not smith made they're not made like in a mountain by a guy with like 42 generations of samurai sword making heritage manufactured in america using modern methods of steel making so you don't get kind of all the culture and history imbued into the katana. What you get is a very practical, very usable, extremely hard wearing katana. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the cold steel warrior katana we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking all about its features, what the concept was behind making, like cold steel had behind making this. I'm going to be giving you all the dimensions, the weights, everything you need to know to make the decision before you buy this sword. And at the end of this video, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training with cold steel katanas. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, remember to click the little icon on the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from Enzo Martial Arts on all of the products we have for sale here at Enzo. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Cold Steel Warrior Katana we have for sale at Enzo. Cold Steel have been around for quite a while now. At least they've been on my radar for at least 20 years, something like that. And you know, the shop's been here 17 years now and for quite a while we've had Cold Steel products in. Now, if you go through the Cold Steel website, like the American website, you will see that they do a whole range of crazy stuff. A lot of hunting knives, you know, a lot of like different types of tactical stuff. That's nothing we, we are really interested in at Enzo Martial Arts. But there is a small selection of products that Cold Steel do that are relevant to martial arts and relevant to martial arts training. Now, a lot of those weapons are the polypropylene weapons. So the Cold Steel like training Bokken is very, very popular. And we do sort of have a constant supply of those going out the door. And they do a lot of other uh, polypropylene stuff, Wakazashi, um, like Tantos and training knives and all the rest of it. And I will show you a few more of them a bit later. Now, one thing that Cold Steel is known for is producing katana, and there is a relatively wide range of katana that they do. Now, even though all these katana are very, very good quality, and I will go into some of those specific qualities in a bit, we don't sell all of them. They've got some stuff like double-edged katana and long ones, and you know, it's not something that we're particularly interested in doing. At Enzo Martial Arts, we like the very standard, traditional items that people are actually going to train with in their class we don't tend to do sort of the showy sort of out there different stuff it's not it's not something we're particularly interested in so the two swords that cold still do are the warrior katana and the emperor katana and these are very very good really well made really tough but standard katanas that you can use for training in your class no novelty going on, no kind of different wacky ideas, you know, very good solid basic katanas and that's what we are interested in at Enzo. Cold Steel have got this reputation for producing very, very tough like equipment. So their knives are very, very tough, the polypropylene stuff, you know, like unbreakable bokkens, unbreakable training knives and the katana are kind of sold as being some of the toughest katana out there incredibly tough metal incredibly well made you know hardened heat treated if you are doing cutting practice that is exactly what you want you want a katana that can just cut and cut and cut and is extremely tough and extremely hard now one thing that cold steel don't have is like the heritage of Japanese weapons you know they're not smith made they're not made like in a mountain by a guy with like 40 like two generations of samurai sword making heritage and you know they're not the kind of 30,000 50,000 pound price katana with all that kind of provenance they are like manufactured in America using modern methods of steel making so you don't get kind of all the culture and history imbued into the katana. What you get is a very practical, very usable, extremely hard wearing katana. So 
If that's something that you're interested in, you're, you want a practical, usable katana, still very pretty, but you know, very kind of like um, understated in terms of its looks and everything, then this is exactly the sword for you. A sword that you can use day in, day out for cutting practice, you know, and you can also use it for like drawing practice and all the rest of it, but it's designed for cutting practice and to be extremely tough, this is definitely the sword for you. The way Cole still describe it is that the first sword that came out was the Emperor Katana. Very tough sword, very well made, but it was slightly outside of people's price brackets. Now, I personally think we sell that sword for around uh, six, six hundred and thirty pounds, six hundred and fifty pounds, something like that, and it's in it, you know, unbelievably tough sword. Very well made, very nice looking, really, really sleek, but you know, as soon as you pick it up, you can tell that this is a solid piece of equipment. So, Cole Seal said that this was a little out of people's price range, so they wanted to make something slightly cheaper, but without losing on quality. So what they've done is they've made this Warrior Katana, and it's got exactly the same blade as the Emperor Katana. So it's exactly the same blade, it's carbon, uh, 1055 steel, very, very good steel. It's, yeah, it's heat treated, it's hardened, gone through the same process as the Emperor Katana um, like blade has. Um, so it, you're buying a 650 pound Katana. Now what you don't get on the Emperor Katana is you don't get a mirror finish on the blade. So it just hasn't had that high level of polishing on the blade. So it just looks slightly more of a matte finish. So it just hasn't gone through all of the grits in terms of polishing. Polishing can be very, very expensive. Sometimes you've even got to pay some to hand, hand polish it. So that's very expensive to do that. Also the fittings aren't to the same kind of um, quality as the Emperor. They're, they're much more of a black finish, so still very nice Suba, very nice fittings on the ends and on the end of the Sayer. It's still got a hand race skin wrap, which is really good. It's still got the brass uh, Manuki, I think they're called, inside the handle. Really good traditional style handle wrap. So it's got all the features of a Katana that you'd expect. Um, but it means you could buy a katana for under 500 quid that's like one, if not the hardest katana in the world. So 475, some people say, well, that's a lot of money. But for a katana, this is a really usable test cutting katana. This is really at the bottom end of what katanas are being priced at. So you get one of the hardest, hardest katanas in the world for one of the bottom end prices. So it is actually an unbelievable price for what you get. A few of the other features that's worth knowing, you get your Sago, just like your, your wrap, so you can wrap it into your Obi. Uh, and you get a black lacquered wooden sayer, like you should do on all good katana, but really nice, sleek, slender design all the fittings uh, brass fittings like on on the blade yeah like I said you get like metal subas uh, metal ends so yeah all the standard stuff you'd expect from a katana well made exactly what we want now looking at the blade you get as you can see like I said earlier you get this kind of matte finish and it's not highly highly pol polished but it is still you know it's gone through the grit so it's still pretty well polished all the way up, you know, onto onto the tip, and you can see the blood groove if this camera focuses. In you can see the blood groove all the way down the blade. So yeah, very well well made katana. Really, really nice piece of kit, and like I said, definitely worth the money. One thing you will have to be careful of with this: it is extremely sharp. It is the sharpness that you'd want for doing test cutting. So if you're messing about, and you shouldn't be messing about with something like this, you are gonna get injuries. So that's my disclaimer. If you do wanna practice test cutting or whatever, make sure you get some instruction, make sure you know what you're doing. Even though it is a very, very tough sword, you can still damage it if you're not cutting correctly. You know, you can really injure yourself or someone else if you're not doing things in the right way. Even just drawing it off, you can like completely slice your thumb in half if you're not drawing properly. So there is loads of things that you need to know before training with this just to stop you or anyone around you getting injured. So definitely get some instruction first before you start buying it. People do buy katanas as presents for instructors and whatnot. So if you are giving this sword as a gift, make sure they know what you're giving them an extremely sharp hard sword so again make sure they're like 
they've got it away from people they're looking after it you know just general sensible use but i just wanted to put that disclaimer in so this is definitely not something that you kind of want to mess about with because you know limbs are going to get chopped off so just be very careful with it because it is sharp and very very hard when it comes to katanas we do we do have certain laws about them in the UK and I thought it's worth talking about that. One of the major questions when people come into the shop asking about katanas is about the law and the legal stance on it. Now it is not illegal to, for us to sell katanas or for a customer to buy them or own them in the UK. You are perfectly allowed to, to buy them. Now, eh, quite a few years ago now, there was a law that was passed that made katanas illegal and there was a big shake up in the kind of martial arts world in terms of selling them or using them. And then that law was actually changed back three months later. I think it was just too hard to police and there was too many other like usable tools in sort of the trade in general that, that match the same description. So they said curved blades over 50 centimeters, but you know, it, people using machetes and things for work or, or even knives in kitchens and things like that it didn't work in terms of actually a usable law so they are legal to own it all then comes down to sensible use if you've got it at home like secure you're a, you're a martial arts practitioner and you, you're behaving very appropriately with it there won't be any trouble at all so it goes down to anything just about sensible use at Enzo Martial Arts, we've gone a step further than that in terms of um, appropriate use and we don't actually sell these online. So you can go online, you can look at it, you can watch this video, you can read all the description all about it and you can only buy to pick up in store. We basically want to know who's buying them. So we want to be able to at least speak to you on the phone. We want to be able to meet you if we can and see who's buying our swords. Um, we don't want to be sending them out just like blind, not knowing who's getting them. So if you are interested in buying these, you can buy them online, but it will be a pickup in store. We can send them out to you on, like if you're living in a different part of the country from where the shop is. But again, we want to speak to you. We want to be able to get some details off you. We want to know who we're selling the sword to. So again, that comes down to just being sensible. Um, ideally, we'd be selling to people that are using them for martial arts, but we do understand people want them for gifts, for instructors and things like that. So, you know, talk to us you know give us some details and then you can buy these but like i said you can't actually buy them online to be shipped but you can buy them online to pick up in store and then we can sort out details with you once we've got a few details off you so what you get when you're buying this katana from us well i've gone through the features obviously you get the blade and you get the sayer and you get the sago that comes with it you also get a cloth bag for it to go in and be wrapped up, which is really good if you're transporting it around. It stops it getting scuffed, you know, it keeps it really nice and neat. Now you don't get a presentation box with them. Now this is a very practical sword with use in mind. It's not designed as something like to, to present to someone or to have on their shelf, like being pretty and looked at, even though it is very pretty. Some of the cheaper swords we sell do come with presentation boxes and you get a little stand and all of that. But this is a much more sort of practical sword and that's how the Cold Steel have designed it. So you do get a carry bag with it, but you don't get a fancy presentation box. When buying a sword like this, there is a bit of like maintenance involved. You will have to look after it. It's not just buy it and use it and that's it. You know, it's much more like a working machine, like a car or a bike, that you do need to kind of look after and sort of keep going. Now, the main thing that you will need to know about is this blade is effectively like raw high carbon steel. So it is, it, it, it's not protected, it's not stainless, it's not lacquered or anything like that. It is like raw like untouched steel so this means it will rust so just the moisture in the air so if you've got it sitting in the sayer like or sitting in a bag like in a cupboard even that there is moisture in the air and it will slowly rust over time so one thing you will need to do is regularly oil it now we do sell our own sword oil at enzo martial arts which is pretty cheap you know i think we sell these for like three quid four quid or something but you can get other you know other sword oils are available um and it's definitely you definitely need that it's not like oh it's a good idea or you know some people do this and you know they get more life out of it if you don't do that your sword will rust obviously when you use it you you're, you want it clean you don't want oil all over it 
but if it's going to sit there for a little while, even if you're going away on holiday for a little while, it's good to have a thin layering of oil on it. And you might have seen earlier, but there is, hard to see, but this does actually have a thin layer of oil on it. And that's how they arrive with us from the manufacturer. Now, all the swords in the shop that we keep, keep will have a thin layer of oil on them and we will redo them every so often. So every month or six weeks, we'll take all that oil off and re-oil them just to keep them fresh, you know, on the shelf. And again, we'll do this with the cold steel one too. You will also need to do that. And if you keep on top of it, you won't get any rust spots at all. Just wipe the oil off, put new oil on, like make sure it's got a uh, like consistent, smooth surface all the way over the sword and you won't get any problems with the sword. If you neglect this, you will get little spots of rust and it's just a little bit more work to get rid of them. The other thing that we do do at Enzo is we sell whole cleaning kits. Now this is just like the next level of maintenance and you have you have like the powder ball in there which can get any old crud off and you've got like wipes and oil and you even get like the brass hammers so you can take the handles off and everything. This is like someone who's a bit more interested in really really maintaining the sword. Um, so they're very good to get and they're pretty cheap so it's worth spending the money to get one. But to be honest, like sword oil is an absolute must, so we definitely recommend getting that. So as mentioned earlier in the video, I'd give you all the dimensions of this sword so you know exactly what you're buying. Now, I'll, I'll do my best to give you most of them, but you know, it'll be fairly dry me just harping on about measurements. So if you want to know absolutely everything, uh, go on the website and have a look through and I'll do all of the dimensions so you know exactly what you're getting from the sword. So the most important things that you could know about this is firstly the total length of the whole thing and it comes in around 42 inches or 107 centimeters. Now people are very picky about handle lengths, uh, they're really, that's an important one to know. And you can see it's about 11 inches, around 28 centimeters for the handle. And the other thing worth knowing is the blade length. And I'll try and do this without cutting myself to bits. Oh, it's trickier than I thought. There we go. Ooh. So the blade length comes in around 29 and a half inches, 75 centimeters. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we like to think that we have a pretty wide range of like training equipment at Enzo and we're pretty proud of the range that we have here. So as well as the Cold Steel Warrior Katana, we also have the Cold Steel Emperor Katana. We tend to have like a revolving door of different katanas all the time. At the moment, we have this black Yamamoto Katana, very reasonable price, still good for test cutting. Again, as I mentioned before, we have sword oil and cleaning kits. Nearly all of the cold steel training weapons, including the Bokken, Wakizashi, and Tanto. We do cold steel training knives and the cold steel unbreakable shark pen. And all kinds of other Japanese training weapons like red, white, black oak, Bokken, Shinai, Shotos, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, go and check out the website and see the whole range that we have here. As promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the cold steel warrior katana and other videos of people doing test cutting. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the Cold Steel Warrior Katana that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. Remember to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on all of the latest videos we have on all of the products we have here at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.